You're recording. Somebody needs to talk. I think nobody's on here. <laughs> All right, this is Oracles Arising, 27th of February. And uh, our purpose is to help and facilitate one another to come into the, the realms of heaven and the place of learning to be and function as oracles in the realms of heaven. And to and in that we like to fl uh, go together, be in unity, and we are um, really looking to see, hear, feel, sense, discern, smell, um, as we go along in the realms of heaven, that's really what our goal is. And then to um, see whatever the Holy Spirit shows us and what he shows us to do with what he shows us. So that's basically um, what we were about. We're not a, <clears throat> a prophetic group. We don't prophesy to each other. You know, it's, or should I say, it's, that's not our aim. Our aim is also not to, to teach one another, although we do acknowledge that sometimes there can be a little teaching here or there that can come up as we go in and, and see it's more like discussion and seeing and hearing and smelling, feeling, tasting what the Holy Spirit shows and tells us. So that's okay with everybody. Uh, so is it a little bit like discovery too? You're kind of discovering whatever the Holy Spirit wants to teach you about whatever today. Or, I mean, yes. it, this doesn't have a mandate as a specific um, subject matter like a nation or politics or health. No, or no, it's it's more like the development for us and each and each other into the fullness of the oracle, the true image, the true um, you know voice that we each are, and so therefore it's strengthening us in power. So we have recognized the spirit of might, although we embrace all the heavenly realm. The, we have recognized the spirit of might to be um, particularly <laughs> strengthening us and instructing us, but we could, we would, we will go wherever the Holy Spirit shows us. Is that okay? Everybody, Sounds good. Everybody good on that? Yes. So, so um, I, um, I was just going to suggest that we just take a moment to be quiet and just just go into our hearts and just prepare to see if there's anything that we might need to just um, repent of or just um, come into peace about just before we before we uh, meet together and and we'll we'll meet together let's say we'll meet together at the river okay. <laughs> Well, I felt to be in the river, just getting washed mm. where I am. That's good. 
So the next oh, one I be went in. I, I went in too. Good. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So are we all in the river? Yes. Oh. So while we're in the river, let's just see whatever we smell, feel, hear, taste, and everything and um, look into it some more. I'm just sensing that there's just so much energy in this river. <laughs> you know, I hadn't, I hadn't sort of seen that before, but it's almost like, you know, the vortex that they, the demonic realm talks about, that the vortex, but it's almost like as if there's a, such a current, that's the word I'm thinking of, such a current of energy in the river. And I'm, it's like, the living letters are in the river and they just wash into us. It's, the scripture says you wash by the washing of the water of the word. And I was just like, that was what I was seeing. I agree. Um, this is first time actually I'm, I'm seeing the life ripple. Um, it's just like where, when you are in the air, when butter fly or bird fly and the life, um, motion ripples through the air and and it's more dense in the wa water so i can i i was sensing that life movement it's it's rippling mm. through the current like uh, michelle was talking about and um the other time i was in the water i was um so mashed with the water so when i was moving around I didn't sense the ripple, uh, water ripples, because it, it was there was such a unity, oneness. But this time it's so vibrant. The life is just shooting out their life <laughs> vibe or frequency. So it, it it's rippling, and I can sense that strongly this time. Mm, that's good. I started out like went from ankle to knee to shoulder and then it completely immersed me. I was immersed in it and it was a strong current and I was just like filling up with all of it. Mm. Mm. And feel free to share if you don't, if you have sent something different too. I've been kind of seeing the, I don't suppose they're the Hebrew letters, but, um, but it, but well, it is the Hebrew letters, but they're like, um, but they're like notes on a, on a scale and they're floating down the river singing they're it, they're bringing mm. music. it's just they're singing yeah music coming down mm. Mm. <laughs> we can yeah. take that into us <laughs> and i don't know why but i see jesus he's just kind of lounging on a raft 
yeah. kind of just going by. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> so you know, I was getting that impression too about the about the um, activity, about the the current, whatever. As it's 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 reminded me of the ocean because it's like never ending, you know, how the ocean just laps the next wave and the next wave and the next wave and the next wave. It's just like, it, it's just that never ending energy pulsating in that river, in the river. Mm. And maybe that's the rhythms you're talking about, Kathy, with the song, that, the, that, there's, that the letters are singing the song the rhythm of the ri river and I, I'm in it and it's in me. <laughs> now I'm seeing like each one of us and there's a, um, you know, like sound on water and it's, or like a, if you do throw a rock in the water and the ripples just spread out, mm. well, it's like each of the ripples are spreading out from each one of us. And when it comes in contact with our, with each other's ripples, it's like, it becomes, um, like this new frequency kind of like more power where our ripples are connecting with each other. Mm. It's like each of us together creating this sound. Can anybody hear a sound or anything? I I sense more the color variation and I, I, I see what Kathy was talking about. Um, the, the combination of the frequency and ripples making um, patterns, different patterns. And it's, it's beautiful. Hmm. Yeah, I imagined. I imagine two ripples coming together and normally when speaking in a purely physics kind of sense, when two waves come together, they would normally just be double the size where they meet. But instead of them just being double, I saw them like dancing, like the water, mm. the ripples combined and then, and then were much increased like dancing. And I really got the sense of heaven's involvement and how much heaven can do when we, when we unite, just that they kind of let off not like letting off sparks, but the water was dancing mm. where the ripples meant. Yeah, there are lots of spots, of course, there'd be lots of spots where the ripples are meeting all over this mm. water. The water came alive. Yes, and I also sense the involvement of, of heaven in it, you know, just the, um, like, just, just singing together. It's, it's like the river to me is just singing with the, the songs of heaven. It's like the symphony of the songs of heaven. Mm. Yeah, I think that's what I'm hearing is like just a, you know, just a music. It's just, yeah, symphony. It's, 
it's probably individual to each of us, but it's just um, happy and joyous and flowing. So I'm seeing how um, when the angels' voices come together, it also emits that same type of effect um, when they sing together. I was also seeing the angels involved in singing together. Because <clears throat> their sound is like, oh my gosh, like you've never heard anything mm. like it before. And, and that's because if you get... So yeah. many of them um, each having their own ripple coming together and just making this amazing symphony sound. Mm -hmm. But that's how all of heaven sounds, I believe. It's the sound of heaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking that too, Kathy, because the sound the angels bring, it it was a very high sound I was uh -huh. hearing, you know, and I, and I thought, that's the angels' sound. Right, right. That's what I was getting. Mm -hmm. Huh. Oh, that's so funny. What? I was just thinking about this. Um, they slowed down crickets or something, and and it's like they created this sym symphony as well. The sound was just amazing. I listened mm -hmm. to it maybe a year, a couple of years ago, maybe, when I first started ascending. And it was like, it was definitely a sound of heaven for sure. It was the same sound as I heard with... Um, the angels where they were able to record the singing of the angels. It's the same mm. sound that I'm, that I'm hearing again, but it's interesting because I've never heard us create that sound. And this is the first time I've, I've heard us create that same sound, but only when we come together with our ripples, otherwise we don't make that sound. It's just with the ripples coming together. Mm. Yeah. You can't make a harmony on your own. Mm -mm. You can't make a symphony on your own. You make a symphony with others. Yeah. Mm. And it's like Jesus is the the conductor mm. to all of it. Yeah, that's why he's in the mm -hmm. the boat or <laughs> he was in like a he was just floating. He was just like there, you know, kinda like and then I'm like, Well what you know, it's like, well, the sound is all, you know, orchestrated by him. I mean, it's because of him that we mm. have the sound. Mm. It's like he's in the sound. Mm. That's why sound matters so much when we hear what we hear, what we. What yeah, we I've been hear. resonating a lot with the water and I've been seeing a lot of, you know, the, the difference of the water crystals when you speak good things compared to when you don't. It's just mm. the, the fascinating crystals or the water molecules. Mm. It's amazing how important sound is. And different frequency makes different um, geometrical shapes in the mm -hmm. water liquid.
And the geometrical shapes are 3D because we're in the water. We can actually see the full perspective um, depth, uh, width, and heights um, rather than when they record and they um, see it in the surface. It's just 2D and you can see the just shape, but here we can just see the whole thing changing in 3D mm. in this space. Mm. What do you think those shapes uh, mean? Anybody getting something about that? I was getting, um, that's how Metatron's cube is formed. How it, how it, um, is always changing. Yes. Um, like in multi-dimension, multi uh -huh. universe, um, with a different frequency, it's, it's changing the shape mm -hmm. in the, like almost like different portal shape to the different universe tied to it. I always feel such a sense of celebration of heaven with us that there's such joy in us being together, you know, in heaven with the, with the angels and everyone. Yeah. I'm seeing us kind of going, um, it's weird. It's like, um, as our ripples are coming together and it's creating this geometric type thing that we're just going in and out of it. Um, as it's like, uh, Jen was talking about different portals and things, um, uh, different dimensions and, and that you can just, it's like, we're, um, We're like going in at it, going in it, coming out of it. I mean, it's like it, it's morphing with us almost. So it's hard to explain. It's like and, a pulsating thing. Is that what you're uh -huh. saying? Mm -hmm. Yes, it, it's hmm. um, morphing and shift. shift yeah, shift. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Shifting and, and, um, and it, even in this time and space that the whole universe can come together in harmonious praising him mm -hmm. in this space. That's why it's like celebration and it's so joyous occasion. We are all coming together in harmonious symphony to like praise his creation. <laughs> <laughs>
but I'm really getting the strong sense that this thing, this, um, these shapes can't even come about unless we're all together to make it. It's like it's forming because of our ripples that are coming together. Mm -hmm. It's really strong towards um, unity and, and the, mm -hmm. um, the ecclesia. Yeah, because it's so true that, you know, because we've got our king together with two, you know, we've got the bench with three, we've got the bigger bench with 12, we've got just the, the power of that, of unity, where the Lord commands a blessing. I've never seen it like this before. I mean, this is, this is new to me. Hmm. So when we come together like this, um, we're creating a portal. You feel that? Yeah, because that's what this uh, Metatron's cube thing that keeps uh, sh shape shifting kind of and morphing is allowing us to go in it to anywhere we want. Like it's like a, like a traveling system or the time travel thing. Mm -hmm. And then so you can go in it and go come out of it and – you know, but it's together that's creating it to begin with. It's very interesting. Because mm -hmm. I remember Robin once saying that you can only go to certain places corporately that you can't go individually. So maybe through this portal thing that we're seeing, this thing allows us to go to different places that we can't go by ourselves. But you know what this, um, you know what I just got? It's like the Hebrew letters maybe are coming together, forming these geometric shapes. Mm-hmm. I'm getting that too. And I'm also getting that, isn't it? The song is the song of unity. That's what's forming in this, in the river. Hmm. And it, and it, it's, it's the yeah it's what it's the shapes the the living letters forming the song of unity that's got this pulsating rhythm to it that opens up the blessings and the portals <laughs> that are ours to explore it's like <laughs> oh <laughs> So it's, it's also an expression of oneness, don't you think? Um, unity. Oh, and yeah. Unity. yeah. The same thing, right? Mm. That's, I yeah, guess that's my, uh, absolutely. My okay. Yeah, so it's almost like if you think of, okay, if we want to go to this place, then we form the, um, with our, uh, our ripples, we form the letters to form into the, of the geometric shape that gets us into whatever place we want to, we want to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe that's why I said oh, how pleasant and good it is for brethren to dwell together in unity it's really pleasant and good <laughs> so we need to desire to go somewhere together or is he going to lead us somewhere Take well, I just want to make sure that Jen gets the same revelation as far as these geometric, because she was seeing the geometric shapes, if it could be the living letters coming together to form um, shapes. Okay. Hmm. Are you seeing that, Jen? Or are you seeing, do you think it could possibly be the, um, the living letters making those shapes? Uh, yes, I, um, it's, it's like the, the living letter is uh, his spoken word. Um, and it, it, with, with living letters and 
us being there and we really were um, making like new living word based on our desire of what well, well, yeah yeah it's funny because so, it's so funny because i just get the you know how the hebrew letters are kind of squiggly you know they almost mm -hmm. look like ripples mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so she said they um would make a new word which would kind of be the new creation so they're making a new creation in us of us with us ah. yeah isn't it how he says be of one heart and one mind one heart and one mind I was seeing the living letters also, in a sense, making up the frequencies of the music. And I saw that one thing I else I saw about the ripples that was important was they they all seem to meet evenly spaced, which means that they're in harmony. They're the same frequencies, same harmonies. So that it just can again confirms the importance of the unity and being in harmony. Yeah, I saw the ripples evenly too. They weren't. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I, so my sense of the Hebrew letters is that they form and make up all the frequencies as well, and and that includes bringing the shapes mm -hmm. together. Yes. Yes. And I, I was um, thinking. So Hebrew, uh, the Asian letters are all consonant and it doesn't have a vowel. And we are making our vowel sound and completing the word as the, the ancient word. Because um, some of the letters, they, they see it, it's all in consonant. And so they, sometimes they don't know exactly how it was supposed to pronounce. And, but with us, we are making a vowel sound and making the sound complete mm. and, and speaking. So that's what I mean by um, what it meant, mm. what it's supposed to sound. We should make this, we should make the sound. What is it like? I, like if you do the A, E, I, O, U. Um. <laughs> 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 don't they do that in like uh, school or something when you learn the vowels you make a like this sound I've heard a sound of vowels before How about, haven't you <laughs> no, they, no? From, uh, I know I used to do that kind of thing in vocal training yeah the uh, vocal training go, ooh, ooh. yeah there you go that's easy. what I'm talking about yeah. I think we need to make that sound See what happens. <laughs> you mean the sound like A E I O U? Yeah, yeah, there you go. A E I O U. Yeah. A E I O U. A E I O U. A E I O U. Oh, I like that. <laughs> wow, Kathy, you have a good voice. Yes, she does. She does. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, because, and also, you know, singing in tongues, we, we, we can sing in tongues, so we also, we are the living letters, we are living epistles, mm -hmm. and we can sing in tongues, and that that singing in tongues harmonizes, unifies, and opens up portals and mm -hmm. yeah, shakaba. <laughs> Ooh. So I'm wondering what the Lord wants to show us with uh, about the music. 
I think there's something more about the music. What is it that you want us to understand, Lord, about the, the frequencies of um, what we would consider music? Whoa. One thing I'm getting is that we all have beautiful voices, so we need to take back our vocal cords into the divine mm. alignment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. What is our eternal song? And mm. we sing it ourselves, or does someone sing it to us? We sing it ourselves. Well, I have one. I wonder if we should try singing all of our songs together. Yeah. And see what we sound like. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't. I don't know what my song sounds like. Do you know what your song song sounds like? I do. Yeah. I just sing it all the time. Well, what does it sound like? Oh, 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 so go la da vana pa na pa so vana te ka la na ka la da vana pa na pa na pa na pa so vana te ka la na ka la da vana pa. So go la da vana pa na pa so vana te ka la na ka la da vana pa na pa na pa na pa na pa so vana te ka la na ka la da vana. So vana te ka la. So do you think it's a song that we kind of sing yeah. over and over, whether we realize it or not? Uh huh. Ah, okay. Well, I have one that I sing when I'm riding horses all the time. Yeah, that's the one I sing. <laughs> does my micro does does my microphone sound okay? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Cuz it kind of blew up. I don't know what happened to the parts. I'm not really sure what happened to it. All of a sudden I looked down at it and it's like it's got all the wires and everything sticking out of it. <laughs> no, you sound fine, Kathy. <laughs> okay. Good. Lovely song. Lovely song. Oh, thanks. But does I everybody have songs, one? So I don't know. I sing different songs, so I don't oh, know. All right. I, I know a bit about the, a lot of the rhythm of my, my songs are often a certain rhythm. That's all I do know. They're very, a similar rhythm, you know? Mm -hmm. It may be a different tune, but the rhythm mm -hmm. is there. I don't know. What, what does everybody else have? I know when I'm singing in the spirit, when I'm riding the, my horse, because she's so flighty, it calms her down. Yeah, but that's think, exactly why I do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it, it um, I think I repeat on it, but I'm not uh -huh. enough of a musician to tell, you know, I just do what I, just what comes out and I don't worry about it. So, but, so yeah, there might be a song that way. I, I think it might repeat, but I can't, I don't know. I, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me whether it repe repeats or not, you know what I mean? <laughs> Cause it's, okay. we have never really had a conversation about it in detail. Yeah. Well, but I don't, for, for whatever reason, when Jen was talking about the consonants and that us being the vowels creating the song or the new, the new words, um, mm. I just, for whatever reason, heard the vowels as a song. So, whatever. <laughs> mm. And also our DNA has a song. But mm. when you, um, there's a company that you can go um get your um dna song they yeah it's yeah. awesome okay the yeah. more transformed you are the better it sounds too i heard yes. i knew this christian or knew of this christian lady who what was one of her ministry things if you send her your picture she would sing your song mm. yeah that's kind of mm. cool she was called the white dove just had a really sweet voice too. I don't know if she's still doing it or not, but all right. Well, I guess we could look a little further in and see what's going yeah. on. Yeah. yeah.
Sukana take a take a take a So when I take a long, like a lot of a pan of 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 p
Yes, why couldn't the new creation have a new living song? Why couldn't the new creation have a different song than the world? Of course it does. Of course we do. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. We need to legislate the ecclesia to have the new living song that's completely different from the sound of the earth. Maybe that's how the new song is coming. Mm -hmm. Well, this, um, this song we would sing, or are that we are, would have a heavenly frequency, mm. have a different frequency than the earth's frequency. So it's probably another way of releasing the kingdom of God into the earth. Yeah, yes, it is. Because um, as we release our song, we're releasing. Um, wow, that's part of the fullness of being an oracle. Ooh. Mm. Yes, yeah. it is. Oh. Yes. Yes, I felt that there were, um, like for our song today, and it would be different each time, that there were different living letters that, that came to especially um, enhance and combine their frequencies. And so, so perhaps there were five of the living letters who especially were f helping form this song today. Mm. Yeah. And there are all those shapes and patterns we saw. Yeah. I've only, I've started to engage with the living letters and to learn them and study their meanings as well, but I know very little at the moment. Oh, it's hard. Not enough to share, but it's really exciting. Yeah, I bought Robin Maine's uh, uh, Hebrew letter flashcards. Yeah. Trying to learn them, but haven't gotten anywhere. <laughs> it's ground zero. Oh. Yeah. I like this, this way of learning though. This is better. I teach them in the Praise Moves exercise class, Christian Alternative to Yoga, and so uh, we actually have exercise postures to the, all the Hebrew letters. Seriously? Been, postures? Yeah. I've, yeah. Seen, I've seen that on YouTube. Oh. They're, they're awesome. Yeah, they're wow. really fun. <laughs> so that yeah. really tied to the geometric shapes, then you could actually see the body positions for the letters. Well, that would have given you a different perspective. Well, good yeah, way I would, but that would have yeah. letters. Oh, that's really neat. Yeah. Because the postures match to a greater or lesser extent, they match how the letter looks. Wow, never thought of doing my body shape into the letters. Yeah. That's a really good way to learn. Yeah. Let's all do the Shen position. <laughs> well, I can describe that one to you. That one's not too hard to describe. That's <laughs> sitting on the floor with your legs wide out like in a V shape and uh, your two hands together reaching forward in front of you as you stretch over. If you're not very flexible, it's a challenging one, but and the idea is to lean lean forwards. Right. So a fairly classic um, dancing stretch. Yeah. So wide second, seated second, and hmm. lean forwards. Yeah, that's shin, the teeth. Wow. So Sharon, um, I was thinking since we have five, um, the the letter came to me was Elohim, 
Mm -hmm. Do you see that coming forth? It's it's um, it's not well. Jewish take it as a five element. It not as a um, Elohim as a God's name, but it it, it there's like yeah. we have a lot of five um, like. Moses was given Elohim, not yeah. not that God. So, does that resonate with you? It does now. That's yeah. It's got some. I feel yeah. I feel the spirit on that. And do you know them? I I don't know them. Definitely, I Aleph, uh, Lamed. Yeah. You. H, H, H and um, Yod. Mem. Mem. Yeah. Is the first one Ayin? Did you say? Aleph. H? Oh, Aleph, yeah. Yep. Aleph, Lamed, Het, Yod, Mem. Is that right? Aleph, Lamed. Lamed. Hey or Hey? Um. Yod Mem. Yod. Yep. Hello. Hello, Heem. Yeah. Um. So Aleph, I can run through them. Would you like to hear the five, what they, what, what I know so far of what they, the letters, what they are, pictorially? Yeah. Yes. So Aleph being um, ox, um, first or strength. Or leader. Yep. And then Lamed yeah. meaning the tongue. Lamed. It's a staff. Well, actually, Lamed is a staff and that, like a shepherd, and that also later to. Um, yes, and so about the tongue, and I guess the link to the tongue being leading by speech, giving authority through speech. Authority, yes. Yep. Hey, meaning look to look or behold. That's what I know for hey. Yes, behold. Oh, we heard that this morning, remember? Yes. That's the mission, behold. Mm -hmm. Yod, meaning, uh, is it closed hand? Um, and also, that's, that's the God letter. It's the essence, and it, it, yeah. it's in, in all the letter. Including yeah. and mem for water. Water. Yeah. One of, one of them is hand. I mean, uh, sorry. Um, yod hey vav hey is yeah. behold the yeah. nail nail pierced hand. Mm, yeah. So one of them is. So yes. yod is. Is open hand, right? Yes, hand. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I thought it was closed hand because there's another one which is open hand. Um, okay. Yes, there is another one that's open hand. It's it's the it's the in um, Melchizedek. It's the cut the cuff. That's yeah. the open hand. Yeah. Yeah. And mem is overflowing, never ending provision, streams of water. Mm. I know that's because my name is Michelle. Yeah, Starts really. with that M. Yeah. It's very, very beautiful, isn't it? Yes. The deep meanings of. Mm -hmm. 
So with those five are forming our shapes in our song today. Yes. Um, in when Kathy was singing um, the vowels, um, certain letter words like lighting up with that vowel. Hmm. So read that again, um, Sharon. Um, the 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 Elohim, in the in the in the letter, just straight straight through. Oh, yes. Like a sentence, if you can. Yeah. Aleph being um, first, like leader. Lamed being the tongue or staff. Hey meaning look or behold, to look upon and to see, to truly see. And then we, I know we said Yod, but I am wondering if it's Ayin there, but Jen, are you sure that that's a Yod there in LA? Yes. Okay. okay. So Yod being closed hand, um, as in Ya. And it's a very breathy, so far as I know, a very breathy sound. And then, mem, water. I just typed in the Greg uh, letter on the chat. Hello, him. Thank you. Well, oh, thanks. Wow. So that would mean that that expression is the expression of us as as those as to lead um, um, what was it going to say um, to lead by shepherding the tongue, the words, the speaking, so that there can be a seeing of now you said it's the closed hand with the open hand or the provision of the never-ending flow of life from heaven, because that's mem. No, mem isn't. Uh, it's gimel that's the ever flowing from heaven. Is. No, it, it's a mem, Kath. I know it is. It's it's the it's the never-ending flow of supply. I was no, just listening to Ian again speaking about it. It's the never-ending flow of supply. Is is the mem? Yeah, water would be like that. Yeah, it's okay. And it's inter interesting that it's it was in the waters that we've seen this. Like we're just seeing, so that's a description of of an oracle. Mm, wow. To lead by the sound of our voice, um, as a uh, by. by shepherding the words that we speak so that people can see <laughs> the abundance of the never-ending flow of heaven wow, or the yeah or the provision mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that is so cool that is like what an oracle is yes it is <laughs> Do you think that we're being encouraged to realize that we're to sing a whole lot more? <laughs> Together. Yes. I suppose our worship, our, our, our understanding, our idea of worship is changing. Yeah, I'm thinking because um, in order for us to maybe ascend to different mysteries, 
uh, mystery places that we come together in this um, sound to open up these different portals with the new living song. Mm. You know, as we begin to sing even more in a heavenly way, like the angels, in, as, as our voice and our, um, our being begins to resonate more, even more with heaven, it'll, may, it'll be so different from the earth that they, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be taking notice. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sound. also thinking... Um, I'm sorry, Michelle, go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, I was also thinking, because Kathy was talking about us being transfigured or transformed spirit, soul, and body, if we'll ever, you know, um, all be together completely like that. Um, and maybe that is how we separate ourselves, set ourselves apart in the city of refuge is through the song that causes our spirit, soul, and body to go. Wow. Wow. Yes, Kath, I think because we can actually be, you know, caught up in that way in, in the uh -huh. body. Yeah, I agree. Because remember the, um, the uh, candlelight, is it candlelight women? Candlelight women. <laughs> what were they called? Oh my gosh. The glow? The glow? The glow women? Um, no, they were called like the candlelight or the um There is a book that was written, a couple books on them. The the golden girls, the golden there you, Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, that that are oh, they entered in. Again. Yeah, they went through a portal, like yeah. in their basement or something. And um they would go body, soul, and spirit, and they would bring things back from heaven, mm -hmm. you know, like different outfits and all sorts of different things. Did you read their book? I have it. Um, I read a lot of it. Yeah, I was. It was so awesome. Yeah, but would, I haven't seen their book. Well, I'm feeling like the song, our songs, would probably um, uh, encourage our spirit to grow bigger. Uh, he would heal our body would help our body, soul, and spirit come into alignment with heaven. That makes sense. Yeah, it's called the ladies of gold. You're right. Sorry. I'm definitely feeling the anointing on that what we've been given to actually you know let it flow out of us more in song just be more open to that flow of song yeah because I'm reading oh my gosh the page that I'm on right here just said it was not just praise and worship, but intense intercession as the spirit directed. It was also during this time that their worship aided by the Holy Spirit began to take amazing new elements. At this time, they did not sing traditional hymns. Um, their worship was spontaneous and led entirely by the spirit. Francis would strum a zither while everyone worshiped in tongues and within minutes, everyone was caught right up into the spirit. A song mm. of the Lord would come forth, given at that moment with different members contributing to the verses and choruses, 
all in rhyme. Mm. Imagine that kind of coordination between 50 or more people to sing an unwritten song with rhyme and meter before the Lord. The songs of deliverance that came forth were just astounding, but powerful songs of the bridegroom to the bride or vice versa. Hmm. Yeah, that's how they were caught up. That's fabulous. So we embrace that. I desire, yeah. I desire to go there, Lord. Mm. 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 I've just been pondering the letters some more, and I feel, you know, there's always so many different aspects to a word and a truth in these living letters, but I feel um, what's highlighted to me as I was seeking the Lord about it is um, Aleph is first about the first voice and the first breath, the source of the voice and the source of breath. And this is God, because I was pondering L, L was the word for God, E L or A L, Aleph, Lamed, first voice, and later being the first and strongest. And And mem at the end being their word for plural, or on, ongoing, multiple and ongoing. And so that, I felt like um, that was an invitation to go deeper and to realize that, that our father, the creator of all, he is the source and the one, the first voice. And we, we enter into him as we release our sound and our frequencies. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's so good. Is isn't it isn't it true that as sons, you know, we are in that image too. Uh, you know, to to be those we as part of him that we also resonate that same that same release of Yes, because it's the creative voice, and that's what stood out to me as it being the first. It was the creative voice and the creative breath. Yes, yes. That's what we enter into. Yes, yes. 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 Mm. I think it's a way to enter into his mountain because the river flows from the mountain. It's a way to enter into his mountain. Authority, his government. But I'm, I'm fascinated by whether or not it's a way to enter in body, soul, and spirit entered in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With the music, through the music. Uh-huh, through the through music. The frequency, the frequency. Uh -huh. Right. Because isn't it true, like Joshua Mills, everybody who kind of, you know, it was all during worship when they were caught up mm. and transported. It always mm. seems like it was during song of some sort, you know. Mm. I bet you it's because the frequency of the song, which is vibrating through your body, brings, the ripple. Your, body, mm -hmm. brings your body, soul, and spirit into alignment with mm -hmm. the spirit, brings mm. your body and soul into alignment with the spirit because you're singing with your whole being. You're singing with your body physically, your soul. Is and your spirit, yeah. 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 All three are engaged. Yeah. Oh, that's good, Kathy. That, that would be a way to enter. enter mm -hmm. in. Yeah, Mike, Mike sure gets a lot of stuff when he's in worship. Mm, yep. Yep, him too. You know, it's one thing to do Dr. O's deal where, you know, you do your yod, hey, the chanting, um, mm -hmm. which I believe that probably opens up a portal as well. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. um, because you're moving your body, you're standing up and you're doing the east, south, uh, west, north. Um, that that is another effective way. But for some reason from tonight, it seemed like it was more song. The frequency of, of the sound, the singing sound. More than, chan more than chanting. Yeah, yeah, more effective, yes. Yeah. Well, I make a song out of yod heh often. Yeah, which make, make, yeah. could be another way, but I think, you know, yeah. singing our own song. Our own song, which creates a symphony melody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Something to meditate on for sure. <laughs> yeah. New revelation. Because I've never seen the ripples really merging, creating things before. So how about if do y'all want to get back into the water and mm. and check out our ripples again? Mm. And now with this new understanding, if we get additional revelation, mm. just real fast yeah. before we yeah, before we good. end. Mm. Yes. I hear a big splash. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> like the water welcomes us. I've just been captivated by the singing and hearing, hearing the letters singing, and the singing was was calling to me, like like this like this song could draw us in.
Is anybody feeling that um, we should um, declare, release um, <laughs> that the sound of heaven, the songs, the rhythms, the, fre the um, frequencies of, 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 um, of the songs of heaven, the heavenly songs the, um, would be released in the ecclesia now. We would receive it ourselves and we would be those, those songs that um, we, we open up to sing like angels to, <laughs> to, to different you know, levels of the uh, um, rhythm and power of the sound of song from heaven and release that for the for the body of Christ yeah we could do that because I just see it as such an effective way um, to be taken up you know mm -hmm. yeah and it's also such a, a, a such an effective way to uh, to release into the earth you know the atmospheres of heaven Right, um, but uh, but in and in, 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 but to see different to release and call for different um, the different dimensions of heaven, of heavenly song and rhythm and sound, and to uh, like he said he said you are the you are the best instrument, you know. Yeah. Yes, well, I agree. Let's release it. Yeah, because I think everybody has a sound. You know, we know that everybody has a frequency and a sound. Well, people who uh, worship weekly probably think they already are, but there must be something more, something new, because it's a new heaven and a new earth, and we're a new creation, and there's new things coming out of the new covenant. Yeah, so you think of like the Hallelujah Chorus and all the other ones that sing together. Um, and the atmosphere that they're creating, but either they're just not quite tapping in and releasing from heaven through that, you know, because that's not where they're setting their desire because they don't even know that they can. It's just music to them. They're just singing because it's music. And I'm sure yeah, that they, they feel something, you know, I'm sure that they can feel Holy Spirit and the you know, they, they feel like they're bringing the atmosphere from heaven down, um, but they're not, um, I think that's as far as it goes, you know. No, they're not entering into it and going back up with it. Right. I heard, I heard Justin say that, you know, we could take all the music from different cultures, like he said, you know, from the Welsh or the Irish, and, and we, could, we could sing it. You know, and and think that if we if we if we just get the song of the nation or whatever, you know, we'll be we'll be releasing the blessing of heaven, whatever. And he said, but it can never work because you can't release, you can't go from heaven. I mean, you can't go from earth to heaven and have change. It has to come from heaven to earth. We know that, but he was just talking about you know rhythm and song, right? And praise, and he was saying how people want to take the different instruments they use in different cultures and so on and say, we just, if we just got, if we just caught the, the rhythm and the sound of that nation, you know, we've got it. And he said, it's, it's, it's not so of course at all. So we're talking about a complete opening up more of the dimensions than what we've known with regard to the sounds of heaven, how it, how we can be an instrument for it and how the Ecclesia can be an instrument for it. Right. 
But we've got to li- re- we've got to go into heaven and sing our song from the heavens. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes. From the heavens. Because yes. what I saw when we went in when we went in the second time was I saw when all of our ripples came together. It wasn't even like it was. It was almost like who we are. Like the sound is who we are. It was almost like our identity that was creating it. I believe that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I re- relate to that. Because it was, yeah, yeah, because it was almost like we didn't even really have to make a sound for it to be effective. It was just mm-hmm. us being in the river with the with our sound that was meeting each other's sounds, which opened up these different um, portals. Mm, that's a beautiful picture. I like that. Mm. <laughs> Yes, in so many dimensions of things. <laughs> and I think, yeah, the, the singing on our part was just, uh, you know, a byproduct of, of what we are, who we already are. Yeah. I think because it, I think it was because of that that caused the angels to start singing because we didn't start singing. It was after we heard the angels sing that brought the song to, to our desire to sing. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Because the ripples came off of us first before we even started singing. So there was uh, frequencies coming off of us. Right. Being there in the river. Mm-hmm. Yep. It was like that created the living song. But what we could decree and declare is that everyone, that we released the desire to, um, to have their sound be heard in heaven. So is what we're getting uh, it, something that we're to release to the Ecclesia, or is it just for us to understand to release our own? Encourage us to release our own. Or is this a revelation? You're seeing this as a revelation that needs to be released out over the all the Ecclesia to come into the revelation. Yeah, that's true. Michelle? Yes. <laughs> Is that what you were thinking? Um, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know, <laughs> we know that um, the Lord told us that we're the greatest musical instruments, which yes. I think is, is just who we are. <laughs> yes, yes. And so when we come into the river together as the, as the, um, um, the Elo, Elohim living letters. Oh my goodness. Well, I think we just released, we just release what we've received for it to be, you know, to be released for others. Yeah. Other well, doesn't doesn't Jane people. always say that we don't have to decree and declare? We could just take our desires of what we experienced and bring it here and release it out to the atmosphere around us. That desire. Yeah. Yes. We desire that. That's what would happen. Is that not only would we experience more of it and deeper, but that it would be expressed. It would be released, and 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 the ecclesia, the body of Christ, would. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So we agree. Yes. Yes. 
Let it be. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Let there be more. Mm, maybe more. we need a maybe we need a Zoom call for our singing time. <laughs> yeah, hey, I would say that would that's like the the ladies of the golden candlestick group. The gold ladies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what they is that did. What yeah. is? Huh? is that what the title is, Kathy? The ladies of the golden candlestick? Yeah, something like that. Yes. Oh. Yes, yes. Huh. That would be awesome. We should, um, I, actually, I thought the exact same thing. I was thinking, what if on a Wednesday um, group we just sang? Mm. <laughs> you know, we may be led to do that. Mm -hmm. And share where it takes us. Do you have that on Kindle? No, I actually have that on iBooks. iBooks, so it's available then. On, on yeah, there. Ladies of Gold, basically, is the title mm -hmm. by James James Maloney. And he was a son or something, wasn't he? Yeah, no, he was a kid that wasn't really related, but he always used to go visit them as a young kid. He was like a like a met like a runner or something for him, like a delivery guy or whatever. Hmm. But he was able to collect all the writings that that they did and put them all together. I would say their frequencies affected him. Yeah, me too. <laughs> drew him in and impressed him and probably drew him into the kingdom. Wow. So that's really kind of an example, isn't it? That they just got together and went and, and the people around them were drawn into what they, what they learned. Yeah. Or experienced is a better word, I think. They're experienced. Mm. Wow. I'll have to read that. Yeah. Mm, it's really exciting. So basically, we are embracing that the sound of heaven is coming out of us into the earth, the new dimensions, mm, and the new songs and rhythms. <laughs> so are, are we creating new dimensions? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. Well, are we going into new dimensions? We're going into new dimensions. New to us, but not creating new ones. Yeah. Okay. And it's interesting too that as those, as the sound comes out of heaven with those rhythms and songs and so on, it's really as we being the the instruments, it's really going to produce the healing. It's going to release, you know, it's going to release the atmospheres of peace and joy and healing and so on. Um, you know how, I mean, we've seen it just in, the, in, 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 in some years gone by with Benny Hinn, for example, Catherine Coleman, where, where all they did was just worship and worship and wait for the Holy Spirit to heal people. Yeah. The Holy Spirit's power. And, um, and in the worship, people were healed as, as they were just worshiping. So yeah. we're looking at a different, even a greater dimension of that really to be released in these days just yes mm. yeah well sometimes these women would go together to different places to evangelize the you know they would be transported mm -hmm. um you know they would just their sole purpose of course was to sing and to worship the king you know it was more 
it was more on worship than it was warfare, but sometimes they had active roles in both capacities. So sometimes when they were worshiping, the Lord would transport them to a place that needed uh, warfare mm. um, on earth. Mm. And then sometimes they would um, um, be raptured to heaven where they would come back with sandals, with gemstones and all sorts of cool things, mm. headdresses with the 12 stones. Um, mm. But were they manifest, Kathy? Yeah, they actually brought mm -hmm. them back. Yeah, <laughs> it says all the earthly translations and raptures were separate from the translations to heaven where many would return with sandals entwined with strange jewels, vest-like garments inset with 12 stones representing the tribes of Israel, headdresses arrayed in all, almost living colors, articles of clothing that would be stitched with gold thread. I mean, the metal, not the, the color. Um, these were regular occurrences with the ladies of gold. Jeez, I wonder where those fat, I wonder where those, they'd be artifacts now. I wonder where those Where are, are they? <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? I want to go feel it. <laughs> no, but then that just shows there what's there for us. Yeah, of course. Oh, so there's a music oh. portal. Yeah, that, worship. Yeah. Well, we saw it. We saw it with the ripples. I mean, we saw what, what, what yeah. would happen if we hung out in the river. Um, so ripples are frequencies and frequencies open a portal. Okay. So we're agreeing with this. We're in agreement yeah. for this. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Lord. We're in agreement oh, for that. Right. Those women are in the great cloud of witnesses. Yeah. Yeah, Woo! they are. Woo! Oh, God. Hi. Huh. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah. Hello. Well, who knows? Maybe Isabella was one of them. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn off the recording. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay.